Hey everyone and welcome back to another Bisect Hosting server tutorial. In today's tutorial, we're going to go over how to manually update a mod pack on a Minecraft server. Before we get started, we will be using an FTP client during this tutorial. If you do not know how to use an FTP client, I will have a video linked in the description going over how to do so. Also, before we get started, make sure to back up files locally so you preserve any necessary files in case anything goes wrong. Also, keep note of any custom config settings as they will reset when updating. First, we're going to download the updated server pack from either CurseForge or another website that we have our mod pack on. For this tutorial, we're going to use MC Eternal Light. Once downloaded, we can go to the file and extract this file to an empty folder. We're just going to use our folder on our desktop. Once done, we are going to take note of all of the folders inside. The amount of folders and names might change per mod pack. We can go ahead and minimize this to use this later in the tutorial. And we're going to log into our Bicetosting Games panel and choose our Minecraft server. Next, we're going to choose the stop button to stop the server. We can then connect to the Minecraft server using an FTP client. Once connected, on the server, we're going to delete any of the folders that match those files that we extracted earlier. Once done so, we can unminimize that folder and we are going to drag and drop just the folders onto the server with an FTP client. Depending on how large the mod pack is, this may take a while. Once this is transferred, we can go back to the Bisect Hosting Games panel, start our server, and we'll have manually updated our mod pack on a Minecraft server. If you have any questions, check out our knowledge base, bisecthosting.com KB, or you can submit a support ticket on our website. If this guide was helpful, make sure you hit that like button, subscribe for more content like this, comment down below which guide you would like to see next, and we'll see you around.